Hi, everybody. Yes, we're here once again. It's good to be with you, Bob Lorenz and Ian Joy. And ladies and gentlemen, I am going to wind Ian up right now and just let him go because we have breaking news. Major League Soccer is back. Give us some of the details, Ian. Okay, I'm going to do it in my newsworthy voice. Are you Please ready? Do. Yes. All right. Breaking Wait, news on. coming yeah. out of Major League Wait, Soccer. Just a quick restart on that. Ian, ready? You, you do the breaking news part again. <laughs> breaking. <laughs> We need sound effects. All right, breaking news out of Major League Soccer. We have just got an announcement from Major League Soccer that they will be returning to action on July 8th. A lot of talk, but now it is official. Let me give you some of the details, Bob, if I could. July 8th through August 11th, the tournament will be called MLS is Back Tournament. There will be 26 match days, 54 matches, 39 group games with 15 knockout games. You know, that's where it matters. That's where the money is, of course. Each of the group games will be counting towards uh, the 2020 regular season standing. So every game matters. All the points that you earn in the group games will be then carried over to when the regular season resumes after the competition. The winner, and this is the golden carrot here, will get a berth in the CONCACAF Champions League. Wow which is huge. I think that's fantastic to have the winner go to that tournament. It means there's something really important to play for. Also, for the players, there's going to be a $1.1 million bonus for players uh, throughout the tournament as well. So once that tournament finishes, Bob, the MLS is back tournament. Once that finishes, the plan is to return to regular season action, which means, and you know I'm going to say it, yep. MLS and NYCFC looks like it's coming back to our network in August. That is so exciting. It's nice to know that it continues after that. It's not just a month of soccer and then goodbye, we'll see you next year, that it's coming back. But I want to ask you, Ian, from a player's perspective, what's this idea for you? You're ramping up to play, but then it's almost like let it rip, live or let die. You know, you got to win those games to stay alive because they're knockout games. Well, I can tell you now that the players' training has just intensified to the next level. They may have been training already and getting themselves to a good standard, but now they know what's at stake for this tournament down in Florida. It's pretty awesome. It means that there's a lot to play for. So the players have got to get themselves back to almost 100% fitness. There's no way they're going to be match fit. So this tournament gives them an opportunity to get match fit, but also having the golden nugget of player bonuses plus uh, and yeah. the winner going to the CONCACAF Champions League means that everybody needs to be at their very best and try to win this tournament. The games are going to be awesome. The broadcast is going to be a great opportunity for Major League Soccer to play around with the media content yeah. and the broadcast, the commentary, things like that. If they've had an idea, Major League Soccer, that they thought maybe they would like to implement it into the regular season and MLS playoffs, now's the time to do it. And I think it's pretty awesome, Bob. All right. If you want more information on this, do a deeper dive. You can go to MLSsoccer.com. Uh, all the details are there. But, Ian, I want to ask you about, first, from the broadcast perspective, you must be excited about that, seeing some of these new things, maybe bells, whistles, toys they can use, camera angles they can provide that, you know, in a regular season, you might not try, but why not right now? This is the moment to try it. All those crazy ideas that you've had. And us at the network, we also have some crazy ideas in case you couldn't <laughs> tell with what's going on in my brain right now. The excitement is there. Not only have I sold my house last night, I'm also excited to get back to business. So yes, yes the ideas, the crazy content, the media content, what we can do on the social media side. I mean, it's endless. This is a great opportunity for networks. It's a great opportunity for Major League Soccer, but also for player branding. I mean, all these players are going to be down in Florida, stuck in Florida, with or without families, whatever it may yep. be. I mean, it's going to be really interesting to see how it plays out. But this is a moment in our lives that I think we can all get very excited about. Normality is coming back. It might not be normal like we knew it. It's going to be a new normal, but it's pretty cool, man. Yeah, could you get back to the studio, please? I I'm getting a little tired of this extreme social distancing of over 2,000 miles. <laughs> you know what, Bob? I just want to give you a hug. That's all That's I want to I just want to give you a hug. I want to give you a high five. I want to come into the studio like we always do. High five and a hug. That's what I want to do. Hey, but it's not only good news for Major League Soccer. Yep. Major League Baseball draft information, please, from you, Bob. How excited are you to draft this tonight? You know what? It's great because dreams come true, right, for a lot of these high school and college kids who have dreamt about being drafted. Some don't get drafted. A lot of the guys know – They've been told by their agents and teams that, you know, you're going to be going first round, second round. It's interesting this year because they have to do it virtually. Uh, they can't do it 
where they'd hoped to do it in Omaha, the site of the College World Series. Uh, it's only going to be five rounds as well. But, you know, I think back to a time, and, you know, dreams coming true, a guy that plays for the Yankees now that was a walk-on at the College of Charleston, didn't get drafted his junior year, tore it up his senior year. Yankees drafted him in the third round. And when I joined Yes in 2002, I did some Staten Island Yankees games play-by-play. -play. Their yeah. center fielder was a young kid named Brett Gardner. That's who it was. He's a – I don't want to say a Cinderella story because, Ian, we always talk about putting in that hard work. And look what – he's become as I call those games I never you never know what which one of those kids on the field is going to make it you saw how hard he worked in the work ethic you say that guy had a pretty good shot he's done tremendously dude I can tell you from a, a former athlete's perspective for me personally this is the moment where you get excited and it's unfortunate for these draftees and and people who are expected to go really high in the draft like this is a great moment in their life it's not going to be like it was this is going to be something completely different but guess what Bob all the eyes, all the focus, and the attention is now on this draft because, you know, Major League Baseball fans are desperate for some real positivity, and this is it right here. So if you're going in that first round, all the eyes, all the focus, all the follows on social media are coming your way because everybody has got their eyes on this draft right now. I want to ask you this, though, Bob, before we go. What can Yankees fans expect from this draft, in your opinion? Well, they've got three picks overall in this year's draft. Their first one is number 28 in the first round. And if history tells us anything with a pick like that, it could very well be a college pitcher. They like to load up on those big arms. This year's draft is laden with pitching talent, even at the high school level. Is that your throwing arm, by the way? Are you a lefty? I'm a lefty, buddy. I'm a lefty. You know what? There's a spot in the bullpen for you still. <laughs> but – but, you know, the college arms, high school arms this year are very good. As opposed to last year's draft, there were a lot of really good position players. So I would hedge my bet on saying it'll be a college pitcher, probably a power pitcher. However, I've read a couple draft, you know, scenarios mm -hmm. where they could go after an infielder or a shortstop, which I find interesting because last year they drafted Anthony Volpe, who's a high school shortstop, and he did very well in his first pro season. But I want to get your take on this. A lot of these kids are – you know, they get that contract in their hands, and they're going to be signing right away, and they're getting right to work. What was it like when you're able to sign that first pro contract, put that pen to paper? You know what I bought on my first ever paycheck? And I was 15 years old when I signed my first contract, 16 when you can officially begin your professional contract. And then I got my first paycheck. I went and bought a PlayStation, and I'm not a gamer. So that PlayStation sat in the box for a good two and a half, three years before I gave it down to like a friend of mine, but it was a great feeling. You know what I loved more than anything though, Bob, forgetting the paycheck, it was just the locker room, the feeling of all the guys are in this together. Getting drafted is going to be a beautiful thing for a lot of these people tonight. And I'm super excited. The news has been positive. Me and you've been doing this for a long time, Bob. Yeah. We've been bringing that positivity to everybody who's watching in. Thanks to everyone for all your messages of support as well it means a lot to us but this is a great day for me and you Bob given some positive yeah. news finally out the sports world we like to say it the ball keeps rolling forward and in this case it's a soccer ball and that's great news and we're looking forward to that and oh wait a minute you're going to be in kind of transition so you're going to have to watch on the road in hotels short term I don't even know you're going to be watching though with a couple TVs right doesn't matter where I watch it from. You know, the mobile device now, you can watch it anywhere you are. That's right. You're, if you're in the car or on the plane, you got an iPad, you got your phone, you, got, you can do it all. I'm excited though, Bob. I'm really excited, man. This has been awesome news for me this morning. I'm in a positive frame of mind in case you couldn't tell, but yeah. I can't wait to see you, buddy. Yep, you too. All right, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time, guys. Take care. See you, Ian. See you, buddy.